Squads of Gods. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Squads of Gods. Here we have the new team, the Chimeras. The Chimeras were a Greek mythology monstrous creature which is combined of three heads, the lion, the snake, and the goat. So to people who are new, I just add a nice little team name because it's called Squads of Gods and I thought the only thing appropriate to it would be uh, maybe mythology, mythological. So I thought maybe we could add some little interesting side to these squad builders. So I don't know. I mean, the last one was Lions of Olympus because it was England and I don't know. And I hope you guys like that. It's just a little fun thing at the end and now I might shove a picture in. But this time, I think I might go with a proper thumbnail with like the chimeras there and like the background of the squad that you will see now. Just it's standing over it and stuff and put more work into this i think this will be a big series and uh squads of gods i have two kinds of ones is a squad builder anything above 500k is a squad builder anything below is a squads of gods or anything sometimes 7 800k is a squads of gods and this is my first time i'm ever doing a silver squad builder squads of gods however you want to say it um but let's just get into this with mnes or emnes M ms i wouldn't really know how to say it then we have royston drenthe left mid ex madrid player who kind of flopped over there well it didn't really flop it was just really hard for him to stick in there and then we have yellis or jet sorry jealous and um we have triore and osborne and robinson in goal um it was really hard making this team it took me two hours to make this team imagine what a noob right I i'm not used to silver players but anyway we we have more of a FL Championship to the left, and then we have um, the remaining five will be Liga de Brasil. We have Neguebo, and then we have Eder Luis, the legendary player from FIFA 12 and 13, as you guys all know. And we have Wellington in centre mid, and then we have Betao in centre and centre back. Then we have the legendary Fagner. If you guys have been with me since FIFA 13, oh what a player! And we have two kinds of ways we do the squad builder, and I still haven't got a, a, enough like feedback on people saying how they want me to do it. But anyway, before we get into it, look at this bloody team we face straight away. And um, oh f off! I mean, <laughs> what was that so early in the game? But um, yeah, let's just get straight into this. And now we have Royce and Drenthe on the ball, kind of outside the foot shot. I love those kind of finishes, and he's really cool. He's got two cool sweatbands. He's got a white one and a blue one. I know, right? A f sweatbands fascinate me on FIFA. Nice little header there from Melis. I don't know. I said jealous earlier, didn't I? Melis, and keeper didn't even move. That really doesn't happen much for me when I have when I take my headers. But anyway, here's Eder Luis. Insane pace, but not the best finish. But if you notice, he went for the kind of the outside the foot shot, just like Durante earlier. Look at MNS breaks through with some great strength there. Here we have a corner. Fagner to take it and MNS just heading that wide. You'd expect him to at least hit the target with the high TS, but look at this run by Negueba. Holy shoot. That was a good run. The cross, I don't know. You would, I wouldn't even know whether to call that good defending. The guy just stood there and whacked him in the face. Unlucky there. I thought that was offside as well, but that's no excuse. Here's Lewandowski gets past the first defender, but Osborne comes back and makes up for it. Osborne, as you guys remember from my last squad builder, what a player he is. Anyway, let's get back into this with Eder Luis. That's the one thing I love about him, his pace and his dribbling. And I don't look at card stats because they're amazing. So we win the first game 2-0. Not a bad start. So guys, if you're new to this, oh my god, look at this other team. If you're new to this as well, the other thing is we give the we give our squads of gods an ultimatum of three to four games. And even if they lose all of them, we um we just have to put it up. And then we do a little review on how well they played in those three games. Anyway, continuing on into this. Eder Luis there finding the net in the 15th minute. Good finish, not bad. Here we have Betao chasing Suarez. Good, lovely tackle. And we show different sides of the squads as you guys. Ooh, look at that terrible tackle. But Osborne does well to make up with the second one. Referee allows play on. What will Juan Mata do? Breaks in, waiting for the cross. The two people in the middle. Suarez, good defending there. Good defending there. Not the best there. And I really don't know what to say about the keeping there. That was absolutely atrocious. And here's Ashley Cole gets the better of Betao, and there's a lovely cross for Wayne Rooney to head that in. Ooh, this team's got to make up for some really terrible mistakes here. And here's Wayne Rooney coming in again, 2-1 up, and the chip just... You know that actually hit the post. My controller really vibrated then. Here's MNS with the cross. Royce and Drenthe does not get the better of whoever that was. I'm not too sure. I think it was Zabayeta. And that was a good turn there, to be honest. Kind of like a Zidane-esque turn. And uh, MNS there to mop it up and make it 2-2 in the 65th minute. We have broken through with Eder Luis. Not the best to finish. His keeper does well. Have to give him credit for that. <clears throat> Here's Negueva. Decent cross. Defender does well there. Here's Drenthe. What will he do? 
should have buried from there. I found this team shooting sometimes a bit off, but majority of the time is brilliant. I mean, think of it like this, you know, giving them three games on the spot, trying to, because if I lose, I'm going to look like a noob with you guys, because these are squads of gods, you know, how it is. I test the team if someone recommends it or I make it, and they play amazing. And then I do, and then no matter how well they play, even if I win 10 0, 11 0, 15 0, I can't use those clips. The rule is I don't even record it, that way it won't be fair. I mean, that way it'll be fair, you know? So it's really, you know, I won one of the games 7 0. And um, not with this team, it was a team before. I think it was the Lions of Olympus, I think. No, it was, I can't remember which one it was. And I just wanted to use it so badly 7 0 and something like 4 0, but I couldn't. This is the only way to do it and keep it fair. But I, right now I'm getting hammered on shots through the first half. And here's Mnes smacking that shit. The keeper, not the best of shots. Here's Giovanni Dos Santos, ex Barca player, moved all around England and La Liga. But anyways, there's Benzema to mop up and finish. 80th minute. This is this has been a really terrible performance from them. Uh, all round, not terrible performance to be honest. Throughout, they created more chances than the opponent did. That's for sure. Just you know, you have one of those games where the finishing is not on your side. You know. But anyway, I've been on a good winning streak. It came to the end before that. But anyway, I've added this new thing to the thing. Squad's main speciality. It's team pressing and pressure. So um, it'll show you how, wh what I mean by this. Look at this, okay? We're at, this is from an attacking point of view. Look at them putting pressure. Look at them all swarming around the box. And um, they just do really well. And they create chances. And they're really good at keep well organized. Just keep a, uh, uh, an eye on the back four as well at times. Look how well organized they are. And they really, really have just great intensity on, in, on that field. And it's just something that's not done by you or me. It's like it's automatic. It's, look at the back line. Look at the four. And look at the CDM chasing him down. Center mids, I mean. It's well organized. Well organized. That's something I love about um, some squads. They have that automatic thing about them. Like sometimes their tackling is automatic. And look how organized they are. They're just really well organized. I've noticed this with this team over all the other teams I've done. So I hope you guys like this idea where I add just like one speciality, best thing that's about the team. It could be finishing, and I'll show like five or six finishing, uh, best finishes, etc. Here is some up of the three games, overall ratings of how they played in these three games. Not in, you know, I don't want to keep explaining this. I got to do an introduction before every video. Anyway, so attack got 8 out of 10. Midfield 6.5, a bit sloppy at times because of their pace and the, the links, but still a good midfield to control the game and the tempo. Defense was, I'm not even going to say anything, defense was brilliant. Overall rating 7 out of 10, if not 6.5. Uh, and these are just the ratings for how, how well they played in these three games, guys. So don't feel discouraged just thinking, hey, this is squad of gods. Squads of gods, why don't they have insane ratings? But anyway, here you can pause it and check out how well they played. And I just added a little thing at the end, like, for example, Melis does his job means, you know, he's there and he does his work. A Triori, good all round, left back, that's all you want. Like it and like Eddie Louise, insane pace. It's all there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. The likes on the last video were a bit down. I mean the views were there. A lot of you liked it, I'm sure of that. Just I felt the likes were a bit down. You know, what I mean, if you like the video, just hit that like button. If you don't like it, dislike it. I'd rather you hit one of those buttons. It's not like it affects my video, you know, or, or you know, it's just I love feedback. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Peace out.